Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about the W dashboards. So before we begin, I would like to tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you can never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's directly start with our one point agenda that is the dashboards in Tableau. So before getting started with an actual dashboard, let us understand what exactly is a dashboard in Tableau. So a dashboard in Tableau allows the users to create interactive, real-time visualizations which combine the data sources and filters and drill down into specific information. So dashboard is like something which gives you the complete information of the data source or the complete information regarding a certain job at one single screen. As you can see on the demo on the left side, you can see we have multiple informations regarding the data source on one single screen. So now let's move on to the next topic that is creating a dashboard in Tableau. So this is where we get back to the practical mode. Let's start the Tableau public and create a new dashboard. So now we are in the Tableau public. So you can see that I have already created some workbooks over here. So we'll use this particular workbook which reads COVID dashboard. So this is the workbook that I have already created based on dashboards. Let's just double click it. So you can see that I have already created some sheets regarding the death rate and active WHO regions and COVID-19 recovery rate, latest cases, latest recovery cases and COVID dashboard. So basically we have the measures and dimensions here. So in the dimensions we have the country region, WHO regions, World Health Organization regions and uh, inside the measures we have one week percentage increase one week change active cases confirmed cases confirmed cases within last week number of deaths and deaths divided by 100 cases that's the percentage of uh, deaths happening something like that maybe and after that we have new cases new deaths new recovered cases recovered recovered by 100 etc etc so we will be using these dimensions and measures to create some new sheets and at the end we'll be creating a dashboard and used all these sheets to make a dashboard so basically you can consider a dashboard as a combination of all the worksheets don't worry about the sheets this might look a little complicated I totally understand that so I'll be creating new sheets again and we'll be using those new sheets to create a new dashboard so I will not save the changes which we make right now so that this particular workbook will be accessible for you without any new changes so that you can refer to it later. So now let's begin with the new sheet. So to create a new sheet you need to press on this icon which creates a new worksheet. Now let's rename it as death rate 2. Yeah, it's done. So now we are going to create a geographical map for that. Let's select the country and let's hold control and select deaths again. Then scroll to the show me tab and there you got the map. So there we go. We have the symbol map over here right now. Now let's drag the sum of deaths into color so that we can have different colors. Yeah, there we go. Now everything is in blue, so we kind of let's change it to uh, green to red, uh, just like we had in here, which shows that red had the maximum number of deaths, and kind of green is safer sites, and uh, the lighter green is, uh, you know, kind of safe, kind of uh, safe, not completely safe as in India, and a little more in uh, Brazil, it's kind of red-ish a little. Well, we'll try to do the same with this map as well. So for that, we'll be selecting the sum of deaths over here on the right corner. Let's select edit colors and inside that, let's kind of uh, select the drop down menu. And in that we have uh, red to green diverging. So it's in the opposite way right now. Let's, uh, you know, edit the color. You can do the edit option over here. Just select green. Okay. And inside this one, let's just select the red color. Yeah, there you go. It's done. Now let's select OK and this should be fine. 
Now let's create another sheet which we have over here which says C19 active WHO regions, the World Health Organization regions. So in the World Health Organization regions we have Africa, America, Eastern Mediterranean, Europe, South Asia and Western Pacific. So let's kind of create this bar sheet again. So for that let's rename the sheet COVID-19 activities or active WHO regions 2. Now you can see the sheet has been successfully renamed. Let's select the WHO regions to the columns and uh, let's drag the active measure into the row so that we can have a bar chart. Let's do that again. Yeah, we have it right here. Now we have the same color, so let's select the WHO region and drag it to the color so that we have different colors for different regions. Now we can kind of sort it as well. Yeah, it's done. So uh, we have the second worksheet over here. Now let's create the third worksheet. So we have the recovery rate worksheet over here, which is a pie chart. Now for that, let's create a new sheet and uh, let's rename it COVID-19 recovery rate. So this particular sheet will give us the uh, recovery rate of uh, COVID-19 in the WHO regions. So for that, let's select the um, WHO region and hold control and select the uh, recovered or yeah, the recovered one. And now let's hover over to the show me tab and select the pie chart. So there you go. Uh, the problem with this is we have a really small uh, pie chart over here. Don't worry about that. You can just select the option on the menu bar and uh, let's select the entire view. And even, even if you're not satisfied with this particular size, then you can just go to the size option and kind of increase or decrease the size. So now I think this is perfect. Now let's kind of drag the WHO regions to the labels icon so that we can have labels of the regions. So this is the recovery rate at Americans, Africa, West Pacific, Southeast Asia and Europe, Eastern Mediterranean. So this should be fine. Now let's kind of create another sheet which is the latest cases. So which are the latest cases which uh, which took place in the recent events. Now for that let's try to create a new sheet and rename it as latest cases to yeah. Now for that let's select the country and uh, another one the new cases and hover over to the show me tab and select uh, the tree map. So there you go, we have the tree maps over here. Now the darkest blue color shows that the US has the recent cases in the highest number which is 56,336. Now you can either leave it as it is or you can even change the color. Remember we did with the maps in the same way. You just have to select this particular icon, edit colors and there you go, you can do it. So this is how it's done. Now I would prefer to uh, keep it in blue. Now uh, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of uh, create latest recovery. I think we have one, two, three and uh, four worksheets right now. I think we're good to go with the dashboard. We can actually create more sheets if you want like it, it's completely dependent on you if you want your dashboard to have multiple sheets or if your dashboard needs multiple data then you can create the number of sheets as you require and drag them onto your worksheet. No, no issues that you, you need to have four or less than four. There is no limit. You can actually have as many number of sheets as you want according to your dashboard requirements. Now for my requirement I think four sheets are good enough. Now let's directly create a new dashboard. So you can see here we I have a dashboard icon and the story icon. So to create a new dashboard I would like to select this particular dashboard icon which will create me a new dashboard or or you can also go to the dashboard icon or the dashboard uh, menu on the menu bar and select that and uh, you can also click a new dashboard option over here which will give you a new dashboard. As you can see we have the dashboard 2 and dashboard 3 right over here. So we had the dashboard 1 which is the COVID dashboard right over here. Now this is why we have the dashboard number 2 over here. So we'll kind of eliminate this one. We don't need another dashboard. 
So you can see that I have created the new dashboard over here and uh, the dashboard here is not actually fitting to my screen. So for that you can change some settings. So I would like to prefer the size and inside here I can just kind of increase the width. So to a standard 1320p and inside the height I think the height is just perfect. Yeah, now it's perfect, 760 pixels. So um, you can you can actually if you you're, if you're viewing your W dashboard in a phone, you can select this particular one, which is phone, and you can also make some changes over here. So if we get into the existing dashboard, then you can see that uh, I can actually make some changes to my dashboard. So you can select your dashboard and go to device preview and you can change it to default or phone and whatever the size you want to make it. So now let's get back to our dashboard here. Now let's rename our dashboard as COVID dashboard 2. Yeah, there we go. The COVID dashboard 2 is ready. And you can see we have different sheets on the left hand side of the dashboard and we have some objects horizontal blank navigation download extension web page image text vertical etc these are the options for the objects you wanted to create on your dashboard and uh, yeah that should be pretty good and we have the layout options over here you can change the layout of your dashboard and that's it is now let's kind of drag our sheets onto the dashboard and create the dashboard it's just completely simple you just have to drag your dashboards there and it's done and for that uh, let's just select the uh, death rate 2 okay there is some spelling mistake let's double click on the name and you can just edit it d-e-a-t-h death rate 2 yeah it's done so now we are back on the dashboard so now let's kind of drag it and drop on the dashboard so you have your first sheet now let's select the second one which is the COVID-19 active WHO region second so we have that as well now let's drag the recovery and place it somewhere over here we have the pie chart and uh, let's select the tree map and you can place it over here so now we have multiple um, sheets on your dashboard you can even change the sizes of your dashboard. You can just select that and hover on, on to the uh, edge so that you can increase or decrease the size according to your requirements. If it's fitting, fine, then it's good. If not, then you can make some changes to it. Now, apart from this, you can actually add in some filters. So you can see the icon over here, which reads more options. And inside that, you can have uh, multiple options in the drop down menu. You can see the filters option right over here. You can uh, have these filters so you can select by WHO regions you can select by summer factor and you can also make some changes to it you can also use the uh, keep only option and exclude option so after understanding the keep only and exclude options so you can see the uh, entire view option on my toolbar so this is for the dashboard so this is what we were searching for you can actually choose the standard size fit according to the width of your monitor fit according to the height of your monitor or you can use the entire view apart from that you can see an option over here or the icon over here on the toolbar which reads the presentation mode you can reach to that by pressing the function f7 key or you can just click on this icon and there you go you have the entire dashboard on your screen in the presentation mode So you can just press the escape key and you can get back to it. Yeah, that's how the dashboards are done in Tableau. So with that, we have come to an end of this particular tutorial on Tableau dashboards. So if you have any queries regarding the concepts covered in this particular tutorial, or if you need the data set that we have used in this particular tutorial, or if you feel that we have missed out anything important, then please let us know in the comment section below. And our team of experts will be really delighted to hear it from you. So until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.